Hi, I'm Sister Geraldine Schmidt, and you're listening to Musings from a Catholic Evangelist. So, you might have noticed a different environment. That's because I am filming this in my office, in the diocesan office. I've got my mask, but for the, fact, for the next couple minutes, I'm not wearing it, so you don't have to, I don't have to talk through it. One of the things that the last two vlogs that I talked about was racism. And as I was preparing them, I, was, I had a feeling that I was not hitting the nail on the head. What does the feeling of racism feel like? Now, I am a white woman. I'm a white religious. There is no way that I can actually adequately describe the feeling of racism because I am not a person of color. However, as I begin to explain this, I am touched by the idea of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, the image behind me, the heart of Christ that was wounded for our, for our, for us, for our sake, was wounded out of love for us. And I'm not saying that that the, the sin of racism, and it is a sin, and it is an, a distinct, distinct evil that those wounds you should ignore. I'm not saying that at all because it's an evil, it's a sin, but wounds are, are a very strange thing. Think about this. The resurrected Christ had wounds and those wounds were not the wounds after the resurrection of the horror of the crucifixion. Those wounds became tokens of love. We all have wounds. And I can tell you the wound of sexism and the wound of being different because of my learning ability, the wound of being different because I have a speech impediment or had one as a child. Those wounds and those scars are still part of who I am. But Christ has a bigger picture in this. And for us to listen to one another, for us to, to get that, to listen to the wounds and to the pain of people of color, that our brothers and sisters caused them, that's sacred. That's sacred. But by allowing the wounds to be opened and to be as Jesus gave Thomas his hands and his side and saying, see, I am Christ who was crucified. By allowing to hear the pain of our brothers and sisters who are wounded because of the sinfulness of our brothers and sisters, there's something sacred that happens. We become one. Those wounds do not fester and become infectious, but those wounds turn into to be glorified. It's a process. It's a process, which, and we all have wounds, but racism is a sin. You're listening to Musings from a Catholic Evangelist, and I'm Sister Geraldine.